Peter Shandafi, welcome to Beat It. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. That's that's my pleasure. And the first question is connected with what you have just finished here in Poznan mm -hmm. at the Republika <coughs> Rytmus School, mm -hmm. music school, which is your clinic. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think is the most important thing you usually want to convey to the people who come to your clinics? Not master classes, <coughs> yeah. because that's different, yeah. but clinics. The clinics. Uh, I usually try to to demonstrate uh, a, cop a couple of my most uh, important goals, uh, uh, like uh, like uh, how to play drums for me, which is uh, uh, the, uh, the first is like uh, like always make music on a drum set in any kind kind of, of situation and in and in any and many musical styles because because this is this, this have to be our f very first f first purpose even if we play a simple groove or solo stuff and the other thing is like i uh, i try to i try to demonstrate like how to how to make music with an in instrument which uh, uh, has has no no uh, melodies and no chords uh, like for example if i if i would be a guitar player or piano player that, that that's uh, that's much easier because i have i have still abs absolute pitch notes and i can play uh, play real melodies and 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 real chords but but, but it's not possible on, on on the drum set but we have a, a huge dynamic range and we can play different colors we can play of course a lot of rhythms so we we we, we have a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of other possibilities to make 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 music so so that that uh, so that's why i usually uh, try to to uh, to communicate towards the uh, the people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay let's go back to the beginnings okay because I know that you actually initially you were a self-taught drummer I mean you taught yourself to play the kit yes right yes you studied music and you probably studied classical yeah and you That's taught true. yourself to 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 yeah. play so what actually made you or drew you to the, this instrument to the kit what was so attractive about it or who was so attractive who was playing this I mean the inspirations and stuff you know the very very first step was uh, when I was about about 14 or 15 uh, because I, I started to play drums r r r relatively late because uh, uh, because when I was a kid I I wanted to be be a painter artist because my grandfather uh, was a painter artist and that's why I I, I got a lot of inspiration uh, by by his uh, his stuff and then suddenly I uh, I saw uh, a, a drum show on on the National Hungarian TV channel where two Hungarian drummers did a drum battle and I was totally shocked I've I've never I've never checked these kind of things before at all of, of course, I uh, I listen to a lot of great music because uh, my mother is a, a, a great classical piano player and, and and conductor, and my father was a, was an, an instrument maker master. So so I I was surrounded by uh, great music like Ray Charles and and, uh, and 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 like like Glenn Miller and this kind of of, of music, but uh, I've I've never tried to to play drums before. So I I was totally shocked, as I said, and I uh, and af after a couple of days I, s I I said to my parents like, hey, I would like to like to be a drummer. I would like to be the the, the best drummer in the world. And they said like, ha ha, a kid, he will 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 grow up and 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 forget. This this just a kind of kind of short term passion, and that's it. And uh, after a while, they uh, they. They decided, like, like, uh, like I, I started to to play drums in in, in everything, like uh, uh, during month, and my mother decided to 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 take me to one of uh, of her 
colleagues who 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 is a great drummer and also an amazing teacher and uh, and I, I started to 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 take pri take private lessons from him and uh, actually I I'm truly and really thankful for uh, uh, for uh, for that guy because uh, I I, I, I could see from the really beginning like he he is practicing all the times and every day and he is a really a really really strict person on the side of the drums but also a great a great teacher and he also showed me something which was really interesting not only the the the, the, the strict paper smell thing you know and uh, uh, and and then my my mother and father uh, said to me like the best way uh, to follow for me to learn classical music first, and uh, uh, and then I went went to a classical conservatory, but but at that time there was no 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 any drum set uh, department, so I started to to do transcriptions from uh, from 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 Billy Cabin first and uh, Steve Gadd and and, and Weckl and Dennis Chambers, and I started to figure out like how 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 those guys uh, play the things. But uh, at that time, uh, uh, there was in the mid '80s. There was no no video, no no instructional videos, no uh, nothing. All, all the cassette tapes, you know, and there was all, only one radio channel with uh, uh, with with a special jazz program. And I recorded some Avish things and some some written to forever and 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 some early Chi Korea with Steve Gadd. So I did the uh, I did the transcriptions and, and mm -hmm. I started to 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 figure out it. And then I I went 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 to the 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 Academy of Music uh, to Budapest, which already had a, 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 a jazz department. Mm -hmm. And I finished it in 1992, and then a couple of years later I, I sent an application to, uh, to the Drummers Collective School because, uh, because there was a guy who spent a couple of months there and, and, and he said like this is the place where they, where, where, where they recorded the, the Steve Gadd video and Omar Hakim video mm -hmm. and these things and they have, they have a, 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 a great drum school which is a world, a world famous thing and I sent the material about me and I was lucky because they said like, like, uh, like, uh, like I'm, 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 I'm the most gifted applicants uh, 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 applicant from uh, from uh, from all ap uh, applicants at that semester, mm. so I I could have a, 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 a full scholarship from the school, mm. and then I get to New York. Uh, 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 that was in, 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 in 1995. So, so that was the beginning. The earliest fascinations and the earliest heroes of yours were Cobham, yeah. right? Billy Cobham. Uh, Weckl, Weckl, Gad, Gad Lenny Rinsky, White, because Return to Forever, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, and these guys, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but those are guys you hadn't met yet. You were just, no, no, no. you were just listening, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. to cassette tapes. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, not, yeah, yeah, not, not even uh, right. seeing, uh, seeing those guys. I don't yeah, know, n no, no information. And then you went to. <laughs> Drummers Collective, yeah. and you started meeting those guys, right? Yeah, there was, was yeah, there was in, in <laughs> interesting because there was a uh, there was a a totally and and and, and huge turnaround because at the school uh, I uh, I had I had a chance to meet with with Beckel and Steve Gadd and Ers Erskine and and uh, yeah, and, Fre and Freddie Gruber and and these guys and I I I, I couldn't believe it this, those guys are are human those guys are here that's that's real it's it's not a kind of film or not a video but these yeah. guys are here here in front of me naturally <coughs> I think and obviously you also went uh, went back and studied, you know, the history of jazz as yeah. well. So we went back to Joe Morello and yeah. then back to yeah, Andy, yeah. you yeah. know, Philly Joe Jones yeah. and, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. those guys. And, yeah. and in the 90s, some of them were still alive. Did you get to meet them? Uh, no, 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 no,